All right, so this Toshiba portable external drive is having issues being read. So we're gonna see if the drive inside has a SATA adapter, if that's the case. Sometimes that adapter goes bad. So yeah, all right, this is a Toshiba portable storage. Uh, is there a more exact model number? It doesn't say model, it just says two terabyte. DTB420, two terabyte, all right. So that's the full model. Anyways, I'm gonna be using a thin little tool like this just to get in the little groove here. And we're gonna see if we can pop the plastic casing out. Uh, keep in mind that it's likely going to get some little dings in it, um, but it's kind of the price we have to pay to see if we can fix this thing. All right, can we even get in here? Okay, as you can see, I can actually get my fingernail in there. I'm gonna use this tool to kind of get in and let's see if we can pop the cover off. All right, so there we go. We got a little bit of it out and we're just gonna work our way all around, okay? So we're gonna kind of work our way down here and see if we can pop the clips here. Wow, this one's like held in really strong. It's not popping out, okay? All right, so you can see my tool is in there, but it's not really popping anything out. So, hmm, how are we gonna get this apart? There we go, okay, that popped. So it looks like you go down, and then when I feel like it's extra hard to move the tool, I'm gonna tip it Let's see which way. This way? It should be this way. Hmm. Okay, there we go. And you can see it popped. And then we're going to do the same thing. Just kind of wedge it in there. Oops, I clipped it all back together. <laughs> all right. So we're going to have to stick something in between after we pry it to keep it from popping itself back together. Okay, just like this. Okay, let's see, what can I pop in there? The gap doesn't actually open up pretty big, so it doesn't open up very big, so I don't know. Let's see if I can get a popsicle stick in there. No? I'm gonna have to like pry it open more, and then while I'm prying it, you can actually see where the clip kind of is there. You see that? And let's see if I can get a popsicle stick in there now. No, pop skull stick is pretty thick. Okay, I can get it in through there. Now that we popped it even more. Okay, you can actually see actually the clips. Okay, there's not very much space to even pop the tool in there. So yeah, we're just gonna have to kind of keep working our way around. There you go, actually it's staying popped out now. Okay, we'll work our way around the other side now. Wow, this is, these clips hold strong. It looks like the best way is to get the tool in between and then pry up basically lifting this portion higher than the clip. There we go. And you can see that pops it out, okay? We're gonna continue working our way around. The corners are the hardest because, yeah, it, it's harder to pry the material away on that corner. It's more solid, okay? Here, same thing, get over there, and then continue prying. See, those corners are the tricky part. All right, getting most of that out. And right here, and there we go. Okay, so now that we pried all of it out, here you go. Luckily, oh, these clips kind of, you can see it's a little bit risky, these clips kind of break, but it should still be able to go back together. Okay. And oh no, sadly, as you can see, the SATA connector is part of the circuit board here. So it's not removable. And the customer is sadly going to have to bring it in. But for data recovery, uh, they will ask for this information. So the company I would use is called $300 Data Recovery. Okay, I would recommend going through them. Um, that's probably the best price for data recovery I've seen for dead hard drives. Um, but yeah, it looks like sadly this one's not going to be recoverable. So I'm going to actually just leave it open like this. I'll let the customer know to come back and get it. And that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully this helped you at least to send your drive in. Technically you could just send the whole drive like this in, I believe, to the data recovery company and they should be able to pop it out and get that information. Um, but yeah, not really much else to say here. Sorry, but it is a 
um, built in. There's a USB 3 uh, connector. So yeah, it's a micro USB. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hopefully this helped you at least so you don't have to waste your time popping this open. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this. Bye.